you all were kind of exploring, right? You uh, you walked past uh, like a dryad, uh, his stall. He had some little floating quills that were kind of copying scrolls and spells and stuff. And uh, Dr. Park, you talked to a uh, practitioner of Eastern herbalism kind of to lead yeah medicine uh, uh herbal eastern medicine and uh you kind of exploring the uh mm -hmm. marketplace right yep. i forget did you did anybody buy anything nope you 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 Not bought yet. gold right you brought like jewelry and stuff to Silver, trade yes yeah. but so um, far no trades yeah because when you Dr. Park, like you pulled out something and then you were like you were talking to the to the guy and he, he, his eyes got a little bit big when he pulled you pulled out the gold, right? Yeah, was it silver that I had? I yeah, think. and I think that he he kind of leaned in and then he is like, you know, I can um I can give you a deal. Like I can you we can do Venmo or uh, <laughs> you know, you don't you don't have to give me your gold. Right, right. Yeah, and, and I think I said, look, um, it's my first time here. I'm going to have a little, I'm going to browse around um, here. Um, thanks thanks very much. Maybe see you later. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I don't think I bought anything from, from him right. at the time. And then you were kind of looking around for security and stuff, like seeing if you saw guards people kind of walking around um hmm, um and i don't think yeah so if you want to keep exploring the marketplace i guess uh i don't know if there's anything else that you wanted to do i uh personally i i'm kind of gawking and uh try to find any opportunity I can to sneak a picture as a proof that we've been here at least because I tried that earlier and uh, was told not to take photograph photographs mm -hmm. but I will I I mean that's why that's like uh, my bread not only bread and butter but that my my whole being want to document so i try to sneak a picture mm -hmm. when the opportunity give uh presents itself yeah i mean i would say real just real stealth or sleight of hand one of the two we'll see here they're the same so roll against 60 Oh, one. <laughs> okay, so that's a, that's a critical, right? Yeah. Oh, one. Yeah. You've been doing this for a long time. You've been a paparazzi. You know how to sneak good pictures when people aren't looking. Um, yeah, Shooting so, from the hip. Yeah. Um, and you have like a digital camera, so it doesn't make a lot of noise, right? No, no, exactly. <laughs> uh, and... Perhaps no, 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 no Nikon, no Nikon click. <laughs> Giant, yeah. yeah. I've disabled the digital, the, the fake sound of it. Right, uh, the flash. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so with a critical, perhaps it, I get to take mm. like two really uh, good pictures mm -hmm. yeah. of people. Yeah. Then we'll, but I, I won't examine it now. I will examine it later. Just yeah. trying to be inconspicuous. Yes. Taking pictures without anybody noticing. Um, okay. So, yeah. And then you, who did somebody, somebody showed, didn't you show your invitation or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Who did you, who did you show that to? I can't remember. Uh, I think we showed it to the, uh, guys presenting themselves as trolls. Oh, right, right, right. right. Uh, 
and they told us uh, that it was the Inago. yeah, right, yeah, the, the, the Queen of Spring or the, summer. The, yeah, they were having the uh, winter winter ball at the casino, yeah. and it was the but the Yunaga is she's not actually the she's not actually the queen of the summer court or sorry this the spring court she is a member of the spring court yeah though. yeah yeah should should we perhaps uh should we perhaps uh see where this casino is i mean we've got invitations to the ball mm. not that i feel yeah i'm mm -hmm. i'm not dressed for it in any way but i mean we've got who right. knows who might be there right and one thing we need to also keep an eye out for i mean there's well she might tell us but directly but i have a feeling we're she's going to make us look for it uh we got okay the one key was the industrial one that got us down yeah. got us down yeah. here we're looking for at least a, one door key and then once we're inside someplace i've got one that thing that looks like a locker key mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, as you're kind of exploring, you know, looking around for this casino, and it's like you just, the the tunnel just kind of keeps going and wrapping around, um, but it's getting like gigantic. Like it's, it seems like um, the, one of those construction projects, like um, I, it's a little hard to explain, like up here in Colorado, when you go up to the mountains, there's um uh like there's these little tiny mountain towns where they have legalized gambling mm -hmm. and then they carve the casinos literally out of the mountains and they're they're massive and then they're in these little teeny tiny valleys but that's what it's like in the tunnel you know this uh as you you know as you're getting closer you do see this what looks to be like this kind of japanesque um like uh ukiyo -e, you know, kind of like floating world um, casino thing. And there is uh, um, like uh, a geishas in the little, like behind the little wooden slat kind of things. And it looks very much like the, like the floating world mm -hmm. of ukiyo -e paintings. And, uh, and then also, if you did, if you, if you wanted to get some kind of an elaborate costume they as you're walking in that direction you see um <clears throat> there is a uh a tailor shop a, a, a like a dressmaker kind of tailor mm -hmm. place and it is called stardust stitches and it has elaborate kind of like dresses and um you know uh tuxedo kind of things in the in the windows that looks to be sort of enchanted wow is that this stuff be... down here all the time you think i don't know oh. i'll make a note and then when we come here again we can check yeah yeah, yeah because i mean how can they like make a living out selling and renting out tuxedos down here. Oh well like, that that that's probably a seasonal thing or something. Yeah. So it, it looks it looks to be like a like a tailor, like a dressmaker, <laughs> you know, kind of shop. Should we should we assume there's a dress code because or something I, I'm not comfortable leaving anything behind here like clothes and stuff ah uh, lockers yeah, mm. shouldn't he be the locker perhaps perhaps good point uh, well we could ask that we could ask the tailor it's like uh um if people buy the clothing here what where, where do they store their everyday yeah, clothing can, can, can we can we afford that i mean Hmm. Where are you going to change? Well, that's right. That's what I'm, I mean. That's what I, I I don't have any money for for renting a ball gown. Well, let's just well, let's find out. See what see yeah. what they have. Find out what the deal is. 
Yeah. Hey. So um, <clears throat> as you walk into this little uh, like dressmaker tailor shop, you see that there is a small uh, fairy and she is kind of like flying around and it's like like Tinkerbell. Yeah, like Tinkerbell, exactly like Tinkerbell. And she is, is sort of, you know, has like a big uh, or like a small needle that she's kind of using like more like a dagger, you know, to stitch these um, dresses together using what looks to be like sort of magical kind of shimmery fabrics. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, her hands are just constantly in motion, mm -hmm. leaving little trails of like stardust in her in her wake. Um, and she, you know, she sees you come in. She's like, oh, uh, welcome, welcome. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, mm -hmm. tries to usher you all inside. Mm -hmm. She says, hi uh, I'm uh Lyrelia. what can I what can I do for you well um, Lyrelia, uh we uh, uh ended up uh, uh getting an invitation to the ball and we weren't expecting it so we didn't but really have probably appropriate clothing I'm assuming people dress up for the ball mm -hmm. yeah and she gets like really excited she's like oh oh good uh Yes, you know, so um you you're all from the surface, aren't you? You're all you're all yes, mm -hmm. yes you're humans and you're from the surface. And mm -hmm. let me tell you about the ball. And and she kind of goes launches into this thing and she's talking about how it's all about like telling a story, like with with your kind of like your dress and um like these, you know, it's like this extravagant thing, and then you're supposed to wear like masks you know it's like a it's like a masquerade kind of ball and um she is like grabbing on to um you know like Amelia and, and Corinne and trying to sort of like usher them over towards one area and Dr. Park and Morgan over to like to, trying to get you to sit on these little velvet um cushions yeah. And then, like taking your measurements at the same time, um, mm -hmm. and uh, and and she's you know she says, she says oh good 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 good, um, she says I have a, I have a secret I have a secret, right. I knew you were I knew you were coming. Oh okay, and uh, uh, okay. and then she's you know she kind of like leans in and she's like measuring you, and uh, and then she she's. She, she just she picks picks one of you. Um, you you miss um, what's what's your name? I, I'm I'm uh, well uh, I'm uh, Mrs. I'm uh, Miss Jones. Miss Jones, and what what kind of story would you like to tell? What would you like for your for your ball gown? What what kind of story could we tell? What's your life like up up in the surface? Do you eat bagels? Do you do you like um, Manhattans? Do you drink Manhattans uh, or Long little, Island iced teas? A little simpler taste. Uh, 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 after I get through with work, I will have um, uh, a, a nice beer, a nice beer. Uh, 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 you know, it's I guess English ancestry, that sort of thing, like that. Yeah, nothing beats a mm -hmm. good 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 beer. Uh, Lifelike, well, uh, used to be on the streets a lot, uh, investigating things. Now I do more research uh, and uh, and I'm trying to learn new things. So I guess my 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 story is I'm inquisitive. I'm inquisitive, and, and I I want to learn things. Right? Is that something that can be translated into a costume? And, and she's like, yes, yes. I think that, well, we we should we should do something that uh, maybe. Hmm. Um. Do you like uh? Do you like pizza? I've heard that. I've heard that New Yorkers like pizza. Oh, um, I think everybody likes pizza. Yes. You could be the the princess of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
maybe a good sure, like a sure. or sh shawarma shawarma pizza or or hot dogs uh i the the, the pizza sounds good uh we can have um <laughs> yeah pepperoni and pepperoni black olives mushroom thin crust thin crust very good. I'm not originally very from good. New, I'm not, not originally from New York. So Princess of Pizza. And and then she she kind of like, you know, is like grabbing these flowy kind of fabrics and and just trying to like sort of pin them onto your clothing and like take measurements and stuff. And uh and then um as I, you're I all hate, kind of I do hate to be gauche, but what sort of um What sort of what sort of cost are we talking about here? Um, sort of like shimmery, gaudy kind of um, fabrics that they. Um, oh, not cloth. Cost. That's oh, cost. I hate, be, oh. I hate to be gauche. Yeah. Yeah, and she's and it's no. Tell me, tell me more stories. Tell me more stories. It's your your money's no good here. Your money's no good here. Tell me, I want okay. stories. Okay. Stories well, about New York. Stories about New York. Okay. Well, or or, uh, or just wherever. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you my impressions when I first got here. I'm I'm not originally from New York, so I would have found impression the impressions of a, a per, of a, uh, a human from another another place encountering New York for the first time. We're not we're not supposed to go into the city, Fay Folk. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to. Well, oh. Technically, we're technically we're we're under the city. We're not in the city. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. Okay. Well, I'll um, I'll tell her a story of arriving by uh, arriving by train, being uh, uh, shocked at the cost of uh, of, of things, um, um, finding a nice group of people that I can fit in with. Uh, um, yeah, just, just tell her, and uh, uh, I'll name some of the sites that I saw for the first time. I'm sure you've heard of these if you haven't seen them, but I, I've got the, when I first got here, I saw this, and I saw this, and I saw this, yeah. Uh, the, the Statue of Liberty, the um, uh, the World Trade Center, the, what, 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 what year is it? Oh, it's, it's, it's t like 2023. So okay. it would have. This would have been last. Yeah, yeah like last. Uh, yeah, the the, the 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 new World Trade Center. Uh, the um, went to the speaking of hot dogs. I went to the ballpark and described how that's uh, night. How, how wonderful that is at night with the lights and everything and the crowds cheering and uh, things like that. Uh, went to see a Broadway play. That's. Or was it was it a uh, um, Les Miserables? Uh, not for my first one. I saw that later. Uh, uh, maybe one that came out in twenty twenty three. I'll say I, I got to see this brand new one that came out here here, here but that I, I I did see later on. I did see Les Miserables. Yes. So um, as you're all kind of you know sitting on these these velvet cushions like in the corners and stuff and Corinne is kind of getting outfitted um a a person like a kind of um uh another humanoid walks in wearing like kind of like a ninja get up like a you know balaclava and all that and and kind of walks in and they they have a a bag and then um, they uh, they walk in, and just, uh, takes off her her hood, and it's it's this um, beautiful elf woman. She's like, good. You're all you're all here. Um, this is all this is all going very well. It's all it's all going according to plan. And then she opens up her bag and she has um, she she starts pulling out like McDonald's and uh, and bottles of water. She's like, I heard that you um. I heard that you like egg McMuffins. Yeah, and they're she, awesome. Yeah, she 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 starts like you know handing you bags of of McDonald's, and she says 
She says, "You, <laughs> you, um, you can't eat the food here. You, the food, normal food from the surface will taste like ashes in your mouth, and you, you'll, you won't want to eat. You'll, you'll crave to come back here and eat the food here, even those giant cockroaches." Um, <clears throat> And like bit, you know, bit, she's a bit like a drug. It just it uh it just makes um it makes you want to come back. It's like uh it's you you uh, uh makes you one of us, you know. Um, I kind of already want to come back. It's pretty neat down here. Well, you're 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 welcome to like I yes, this is all this is all going very well. Um, and as she's kind of talking, like she, you sort of get the impression that she's been like following you, <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> like mentions like a few things where it's like, that was smart, you know, leaving like the chalk marks to, to, um, find, find your way out of here. And, uh, and, and, you know, like, um, stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Says, well, Okay, so, so good, good. You're all. Are you are you planning on going to the ball in in costume? Yeah, is is that yes. uh, is it like a dress code or something? Um, no, no. I mean, you can go into the casino and uh, gamble or 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 stay there or um, um. But uh, I think that if you did, if you did go in costume, it could it could be much better. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I, I've, I've been, um, I haven't, I haven't introduced myself. Um, <clears throat> oh shoot. What is my, what is her? I forgot what her name is. Um, uh, yeah, she's, she's, my name is, um, Liliana and, um, I have to. I I'm, I apologize, but I uh, I knew that um, I've seen your your YouTube channel, and um, I uh, I wanted to ask for your help, and I'm I'm sorry for the way that you had to come down here, and all this had to happen, everything had to be in secret. You see, we we um, we need some outsiders to help us with something. Um, and, uh, and, and if you are interested in, in, I mean, magical, the, the magical world and trading and things like that and, um, artifacts, um, uh, we can, you know, we can trade, but, um, you see, there's, there's something that's going on down here. Um, um, you heard about, uh, Yunaga, uh, she oh. is, um, we, uh, we're planning a heist. We're going to break into her casino. Um, my, me and my, my, my guild, the uh, the silk, the silk guild, and then Lyrelia is kind of, you know, she's she like nods at you, and then like they're, you know, they're part of the silk guild, right? Okay. And she says, but we aren't, we aren't, we aren't stealing money. We aren't stealing money from the casino. Um, what we need is um, Yunaga has a ledger. She has a book. Um, she is enslaving souls. She is. Uh, they they have a um, a high a high stakes poker game or, or a uh, um, a high stakes game that's happening. And then there's some of the uh, the members of the different courts are gambling for souls. And mm -hmm. um, we think that what they're doing is wrong. We want to expose her. We're going to, what we want is information. We're going to break into her vault and we're going to get her ledger that shows that she's been enslaving these souls in the casino and using them for as indentured servants, like slave labor. What is it that we bring to the table that you can't do. I want you, we want you to cause a distraction. 
see, we're going to we're going to break into the vault, and the um, um, the uh, the vault is um, it's elaborate. There there are um, uh, mazes of of mirrors. There's places where gravity just sort of changes, and then you you know you uh, go upside down all of a sudden, or time could slow down, or um, there's I mean there's there's so many the, the there's so many uh, traps in in the vault. We wouldn't ask you to go into there. Um, what we want you to do is is we want you to go into the casino and raise hell while we're breaking into the vault. Okay. Uh, okay. Why said... can't someone local raise hell? What's special about us? You're outsiders. You're complete unknowns. Okay. Have but you isn't that us? dangerous? Well, no, not if you just cause a distraction. Okay. We could be See, just dumb. That dumb uh, up old boars, you know. Well, you see, there's there's um uh Yunaga hates to lose and she mm -hmm. won't refuse a bet. Um wow. and uh I if if um if you can get into the casino and you can keep winning, if you if you're playing their games and then you keep winning, then they're gonna think that something's very wrong. Because the casino is, we think that there's an enchantment that makes people lose whenever they go into the casino, and uh, and we we have a magical artifact. It's a it's a ring, and it can uh, reverse it can reverse a um, um, a, a curse, and send it back on its send it back on its user mm -hmm. to make so. We think that the the games are, are are cursed, and everything in the casino is designed to make sure that the house always wins. But if you go in and then you just keep winning and winning and winning, then it'll cause a huge distraction. Uh -huh. hmm. Even fun. apart from any um, break-ins in the vault, um, surface casinos don't like winners that's right but that doesn't mean that it would be a distraction they, they would and even if there isn't a break-in we could still be in trouble mm -hmm. yeah question is is like what what is what game or is it numerous games that these people are losing and getting uh, their souls trapped as a result Oh, everything! Every game in the every game in the casino is rigged. The casino okay. always wins. Okay, so but at what point are, are we caught when we lose all our money, or when we bid something that we can't afford to bid and lose, or what? No, if you just if you just keep winning, then then it should well, cause a, a good enough distraction. I, I understand, but on the chance that we cannot do that, we need to know when we need to stop before we're trapped. Well, if you can get into the high stakes game, mm -hmm. if you can um, cause some kind of disruption there while, while they're gambling with the souls. And you think okay. we as humans, as mortals, would be allowed to join in that game? Possibly. If you can, um, you know, if you, uh, what do they, what do they call it? Um, like if you're act like a whale, like a big, a big gambler. A uh, card chart. Right, right. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, it's very risky. What if we just uh, caused a distraction? I mean, are there other sorts of distractions that would uh, uh, work? Uh, in, other, yes, in other words, uh, in other words, try to get into something that we know that they're not that that they don't want us to do, and just act like boars and say, "No, we were invited here. We want to 
play, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, yeah, basically but, uh, just act I, like I, jerks. I, I, I kind of uh, get Liliana's point, though. I mean, I could go in in a, I'm sure, beautiful mustard-colored uh, ball gown and start disrupting. I'm good at that. Uh <clears throat> like mm. taking pictures and asking loud questions and be obnoxious i mean i it's what i do for a living so uh but the thing is then they can just throw us out they don't mm -hmm. want to throw a game a player out because if we just go out in there and are boorish and like bulls in a china shop they will call security and will get thrown out on our right. ass and the distraction how, is over how, how do we yeah. okay look uh, but how, I mean, how do we we ensure that we win i mean yeah if the thing is rigged the ring mm -hmm. so, well she's got the ring okay all right but uh what if they suspect uh, us of cheating top side they put people in concrete shoes and throw them into the ocean uh, I don't want to be killed. Mm -hmm. Well, Yunaga, she is very proud. She will never refuse a bet. Mm -hmm. You could you could make a bet with her. Make it public enough to where she can't back out, and if she loses, she has to honor it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, and I... also there's a uh, there's a bathhouse. Um, the casino is um, well many 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 years ago. Um, I don't. I don't know if you know that uh, uh, New York is is about to celebrate its um, is it two hundred something. Yeah, it's like two hundredth birthday or something like that. Um, and this is the the um, when when uh, traders first came here when when Unaga's first guild first came here uh, two hundred years ago, there was. Um, she she convinced a, a river spirit to um to build a um uh, <clears throat> a hot spring to to make a rejuvenating hot spring for her in the casino and um she uh it's it's powers are supposed to be legendary that it can even bring the the dead back to life and sometimes the the spirits the the souls of people that have passed on in in new york they come here to be revived even though they're they're not ready to move on and uh and then we think that somehow yunaga she she makes them keep losing at the games and then they they end up owing her and working at the casino and if you talk to them they don't even know who they are anymore they they can't remember where they who they were where they came from and they they think that they're going to be reborn, but that's not how it works. Uh, excuse me for uh, interrupting, but has this got to do and anything to do with the, all these apparitions that have that have been seen in the subway? Yes, yes, because the um, the 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 mana is it's getting overcharged. All of the we we think that Yunaga is trying to make some kind of a power play in in uh, keeping all these souls in the casino and using their power. Okay. And she every every year it's like uh, you have you have your your blizzards every year, mm -hmm. right? Okay. During our winter balls and and then you have your uh, hurricanes during the uh, the summer balls and it's we think that it's that. It's Yunaga is making some kind of a power play. She's trying to show off for her um, right. for the other courts. What, what about mm. the electro the electrical th um, uh, phones not working but charging when there's nothing for the, to charge them? How does that how does that play into it? It's the 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 mana. It's getting overloaded. Did so you see the ran um, randomly messing stuff up? Okay, mm -hmm. it's spilling over into the. The natural world. Okay. Did we, what you say? Did we see what? What? What did we? See? Well, did, you saw the, the the worms, the mana yeah. mana worms spirits. 
Yeah. They, uh, yeah, they, uh, they feed on the, the energy and it's, uh, it's just, it's getting out of control. We need to, um, we need to free all, of, we need to free the, the souls. We need to expose what she's doing. I did have one other question, uh, said, I, you were trying to list our help. I just want to make sure that I am actually talking to the person that was trying to list our help. I mean, somebody could put the title on or be pretending. What did yes. you, what did, what did you send us? Well, I sent you, I sent you each letters. You're, you're and, Corinne and, yes. and, uh, a locker key. I gave you a locker key. Okay. Yeah. What do we do with it? Oh, it they open doors. In the casino? Oh, every, every uh entrances, entrances to the night markets. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so there's a there's a we could go in to the night market through a locker. Mm hmm Hmm. That's one way. And the other way would be just a regular door, correct? Sure, a, a service entrance into the tunnels. Well, we got or, we got uh, there was a big key. Yeah, that was that was what that one was. What was it's, there was mm -hmm. one other. What was it? Um, there was uh, just a well, a locked um, uh, elevator. There was an elevator shaft, okay. uh, and there was a. Um, just a regular uh old um uh stairwell door okay uh can we find these on this i mean how do we find these on this side of the uh, this side in other words if they can come in presumably they can go out how do we recognize them, them recognize the the items on this side well they will open the same the same type of door but we've only gone through one. So okay, so mm -hmm. just so regular doors we'd have to look at, elevators we'd have to look at. Okay, there's other and, yeah, there's other ways in and out of the of the night markets. Because if we need to get out quickly, it would be nice to know we could just go through one of those as opposed to having to go through the uh, you know back out the way we came. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am thinking, uh, which will the the ring, it will give us luck and give our, our opponents bad luck, as if I understand it correctly. Right. So you don't need to be <clears throat> very good at playing the game. You need to know the rules, but... Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, as long as it's... Um... As long as it is a, a curse and they aren't just, but they have to be. They they can't be. Um, they can't just win every time, yeah. like that. They have to be using some kind of magic. Will you have people's we uh, people we can contact contacts in the casino if things go awry? Yes, like, we've been following you. Yeah, uh, I understand it as much but uh not all of you will be doing this heist there will be people we can make a hand signal and they will extract us mm -hmm. what what kind of a hand signal do you think will be good perhaps uh breaking the thumb like it's a you... good one just, yeah, well, they just yeah, it just look like it's a some sort of nervous gesture. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Okay. And again, I'm, I I want do you to know. Hmm? do you guys believe any of this? This is insane. What have we stumbled into? I mean, with all due respect, this is not I'm, the universe that I have lived in for most of my life, and now I'm asked I'm, to. I nod over I to the slump pixie. back. Well, Dr. Park, you you didn't you're a skeptic. You didn't believe in any of this stuff. Well, I don't know what 
pills or potions I've taken here, but it's all insane. I know I didn't. I mean, you know well enough. I'm not a believer in these things. It's a bunch of YouTube. Uh, well, I'm just slumped in my seat. If, if none of this is real, then it doesn't matter. Does it? Yeah, then you'll wake up in the morning and everything will be fine and the snozberries taste like snozberries, right? <laughs> I, I do have a couple more questions. Uh, one, okay, I, I never did get an answer. At what point does she get the soul? When she takes your last dollar, I mean, your last, or or if you bet stuff, or if you put up something as collateral and lose, which way? I mean, if she just so, takes her last dollar, uh, uh, I mean, uh, that's bad. If she takes if something that's collateral, that's good because we can just not give her any collateral. Mm -hmm. Or do you actually have to bet your soul? I, well, we think that it's something like that, that that you sort of bet your soul or you... Uh, yeah, you're out of money and now you have to bet your soul, basically. Yeah. You sign some kind of a contract saying that you'll work for her until you've paid off your debt, and then you never pay off your debt. Never. Yes. Okay. And um, let's see here. The ring. How many people does it protect? Just the person wearing it? Yes. Okay. So one person gambles, the rest of us are the hangers on gawking. Yeah. Uh, okay. And we'd be on the lookout for normal things besides purses mm -hmm. yeah mark 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 cards uh mirrors somebody there with glasses you know that uh that you know, that had heads up displays mm -hmm. that sort of thing like that mm -hmm. any any of the normal uh, traditional tricks mm -hmm. I don't think I'd be very good at it. Is there somebody? Uh... But you're a detective. Well, yes, but I don't play cards. But you're you're good at spotting uh, uh, tells when people are lying to you, things like that. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's point. Uh, Green person, yeah, okay, yeah, I am. Not, not very Do good on the social side, but yeah. That, that reminds me, can, can I read a person? Can I roll a dice and try and read this mm -hmm. lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. 47, yeah, we'll pass. Yeah. Pass, just a regular? And what are you, yeah. what are you trying 33. to do? So is that, oh wait, is that, I forget. Is that just a regular, two regulars? Yeah, two regulars, yeah. it'd, have to, it'd have to be 30 to be an extreme, yes. So are you trying to... Like figure out if she's lying to you, or if she's lying, if she's holding something back. Mm -hmm. Um, she seems well. She seems honest. Like she seems genuine, but she she also uh, like it seems like actually she hasn't lied to you about anything, but she also seems like maybe she's a little worried about putting you in danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, I also roll for the sense vestigia, and I passed on that. Mm -hmm. Get ready to be blinded. Yeah, I was going to say, there's yeah. a lot of vestigia, yeah. Yeah, it's like just, it's coming off of everything, like the, um, you know, as uh, Lyrelia is kind of like flying around, uh, trailing fabrics behind her, like just everything. Everything mm -hmm. here is pinging as like magical and and even so if you're if you like sort of glance outside you can see there are like all of these souls kind of flowing down this um river uh outside like you like it's kind of like um there's just like a a, a constant flow of bodies sort of going through this river the sort of people us, that aren't ready to move on yet. Okay. Give us a. Uh, and, give us a uh, I was going to say, give us a rundown real quickly of what uh, you know. What's the best stuff holding for for Vesetia, What's the worst stuff, et cetera? 
was so stone would probably be the best but um the uh um just well like things that are permanent like metal uh stone mm -hmm. is the best and then but even things like plastic that just mm -hmm. don't degrade um yeah. even you know down like it, the where plastic it needs sunlight to actually degrade so down here it would just last forever and ever and what's the deal so, with wood again well a wood yeah it it just does it doesn't hold vestigia quite as well but it's better than something like a human body you know or um wasn't there something about protection oh i'm forgetting yeah, there's something. Um, I forget. Let me pull up the booklet here. And it's right. I don't mean I don't mean to keep interrupting you there. But um, okay. this this river, you know, all these kind of the um, this this the fact that this tunnel is like ancient. And there's all these kind of like constant flow of bodies through here of people that aren't ready to move on. It's like it's it's very it's palpable. So if if the bodies aren't ready to move on, where are they flowing to? Is it like circular and we'll see them again? Or um they're I don't heading quite understand. They're heading towards the in the direction of the casino. Like right. the water is you're you're up upstream from the from the casino okay That's and nice. while we're at it any other I'll, I'll make an observation roll as well just to see if there's any other things that i'm missing and i pass that as well see a uh, regular pass um let's see uh i think yeah you you notice um maybe you you look out you look out the window and then you see that there's another one of these kind of like elf like ninja types like perched on a rooftop and it's like you know like this little like the hand gesture like got your back <laughs> yeah okay um miss lavinia is it liliana 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 i'm sorry miss liliana um please um forgive the fact that i am so slow at understanding the way that this world works but it's it's really a new a new thing for me i, I initially my impression of this place based on the very friendly discussions that i had was that this was perhaps a happy place where some of the darker impulses of humanity such as greed and control did not apply but i'm sorry to hear from your from your um from your tale that actually that is not the case that those that this is no paradise either however if i i can't help thinking that if we go in there or there may be a reason why you have asked us because we don't know you Yes, we 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 don't know your your bona fides, although you seem like a very nice elf. But maybe the reason why you're not working with local people is that if you ask local people to do this job of being the distraction, they would say, "No effing way! This is far too dangerous. Are you out of your mind to ask us?" But we, because we're naive and stupid we won't know that it's actually incredibly dangerous to do this and we will say yes because let and the outcome may well be that you let's say you succeed in your heist that nevertheless we are um we are captured it's obvious that the i mean the coincidence of there being a distraction at the same time as a heist is so suspicious that we will be detained interrogated and an advantage, another advantage of us being out of town is that there's nothing we can really say beyond the strange meeting in a in in a clothes shop. There's we can't even when we are tortured, there's there's nothing we can reveal. And this line of thinking, I'm sorry to say, is what discourages me from being very helpful to you right now. 
I, I understand your your concern, and but I promise we we will be watching, and we'll we'll have your you know we'll have your back, and if you're captured, well, you would we'll, say, we'll break you, you would out. say that you would say that, wouldn't you? I anyway, understand, I understand how you feel. I just that we we can't have we can't go in there guns blazing you know as you would say uh, say well th you know the silk guild is taking down this casino and we have to use stealth to our advantage and we just you know, we we don't want to put you in harm's way but we were hoping that you could just cause a distraction uh, we thought uh -huh. you'd be good at it yeah we are <laughs> probably uh we i don't know about you are we we've just been working together for a short time but uh what i think dr park is alluding to is <clears throat> because of course i mean we want to help but what i think dr park is alluding to is what's the incentive more than our the good of our hearts well that what? wasn't my position to be honest but i mean that is <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm not particularly I, i'm i am a i'd like to think a kindly soul and i want to help others who are in who are in difficulties and if um if there is a genuine difficulty going on here, then um, um, I, I want to help, and I'm not particularly interested in what's in it for me. Mm -hmm. What I am concerned about, and I is that my experience of being a nice person in this world is that no good deed goes unpunished, or at least there is a tendency for for for, for this to be true. And I want to be sure of the bona fides of what we are being told here. Because it may not be a question of souls being at stake, uh, for example. It may be a simple heist. And our main advice, and what I'm saying is that I am naive here. I am not, who's the sucker at the table, as they say in gambling scenes, I hear. <laughs> I'm I'm the sucker because I don't know really what, what the game is, and I don't really know what's at stake. And so it's a question of trust more than looking for reward or incentive. Now, my my friends here, they may, I mean, Amelia, for example, she, I mean, her economic situation may, may be different and her sort of, and what she's trying to do is in there. But you haven't really established your, your bona fides, to my mind. Now, others, you, my friends here, you may decide differently. And if you decide differently, then I will do my best to help you. Because because yeah, that's she, that's the way I am. But I hope that the, the that I've made my position clear. I'm not looking for a war. She she says, um, but okay, Doctor Park, do you remember when you were exploring that um, uh, abandoned mental institution, um, Greenhaven, near your your college, and you mentioned that that you could sort of sense the the tortured, anguished souls. That were trapped there and how you wish that there was something that you could do to that would set them free and this is like straight from one of your youtube videos you know where you were doing like urban exploring she says it's like that we're trying to set all these souls free it's exactly like that okay okay um i'm gonna so you me. say mm -hmm. I mean, it, to build trust takes time. When are you thinking of doing it? Right now. If this was, it's a big ask. If you'd if you'd established contact in the past, and we can build a relationship, so I can, it can be a con, maybe, but but perhaps it isn't. But you see that it's got you. you, you it it's a it's a bit. Um, rich to be coming along this strange thing of an amazing new world that we're thrown in and we're asked to put our souls and lives and so on at risk tonight with no warning we still don't know who you are 
everything may be that that may be completely different from the way that you represent it. And please don't take this personally, Liniana. It's just I have no evidence that the underlying story that you're saying is in fact the truth. It may be that you are from a guild called, I don't know, the the guild of something or other. The guild of, of fish. Stinging nettles. And that really this is this is a con. And we're going in there, we're the suckers, and you will be doing a heist, but it's for your own benefit, and it's not to relieve all these souls. We do, you, you haven't given us that. Hmm. He, he's, oh. he's, he's got a point, uh, though I feel because of what's going on up there with the tracks and everyone it's causing kind of a disturbance up there i don't want that to be the new normal because some of those have actually given me fright when i think i'm alone and there will be problems but I see. Uh, I see both your points. That's what I'm. Mm -hmm. I try to say. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think there is one I... ring. Oh, please go ahead. I do think she's being genuine, and our, and Amelia has a point. There is like, what's going on up there? Yes, we get the, we get the. The weird snows and the, the winter, we get the hurricanes, et cetera, stuff like that. But we've never, ever gotten this bit about uh, these spirits wondering. We've uh, this business with the with the phones not working but charging. This part of all, all this is something very abnormal going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we do need to have a thing of like, and I'm sorry, Liliana, it's like, we're going to have to have a thing to where if we think it's too dangerous, we're going to pull out. I know it might, it might be when you're committed. It might be when you're committed and you'll be trapped in the, you'll be trapped uh, trying to get your way out of the vault. It's the problem. So I want but you to even, be aware of that. Even if you just cause a, cause a, a commotion or something like, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you clogged up the, the hot springs or, or they, you know, the... I don't know, just some kind of a distraction, and then you didn't have to mm -hmm. get arrested or detained. It, um, we we just need to, we just need to keep the security occupied for a little while okay. while we're inside the vault. Uh, how do they? Is how well do they like bright lights? Oh well, I mean, mostly. Uh, I think that. Most people who live down here aren't accustomed to bright lights. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. In fact, there's some some animals that live down here that are not would not react to bright light well at all. And so I wouldn't I wouldn't be killing anybody if I did something that caused a bright light, would I? I don't want that on my conscience. I mean, like a troll is not going to turn into stone, are they? No, I mean, maybe not turn into stone, but they could have a reaction. I mean, how yeah. how would we uh, recognize our target? Oh, um, Yunaga? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's, um, I guess... Uh, she looks like she's about uh, maybe sixty-five in your years. I think I uh, think reverse dog years, like okay. seven seven human years, one elf year. Okay. Um, she uh, she wears um the flowery kimonos. She is um, spring spring court. Um, she she has a. Uh, a little a pink uh, katana that she wears on her side with some little beads hanging off of it. Uh, she wears her hair up in a in a bun. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's starting to lose it up here. It's you know she pulls it really tight. There's a bit about it's it's un, it's she and unshe right courts is like who's which. One more, one more time. What? Uh, well, let's uh, whether the she the, the the she but okay the the or seely and unseely however you want to say it courts. Uh, I know that's not right. I think it's the other way around. But okay, what court is she supposed to be in? She's spring. a sp spring court. Well, I know the spring, but I mean the the division between the light court and the dark court, basically. It's uh, which is a little, which is exaggerated, but of course, I mean I traditionally human fairy tales. Yes, I, I'm just trying to find out if, if there is something like that that actually. I mean the the thing with the different seasonal courts fits, so maybe the other part does too. The the dark dark court. She is a dark. Okay. Uh, okay. The uh, and the winter court. What? Uh, or I mean, I mean, whoever who who would be there presiding the uh, the highest person from the winter court, and what would they be probably? Um. The uh, <clears throat> the uh, the the queen of the winter court, the winter court. Is um, uh, Saldana Baldan, mm -hmm. and is she light or dark? Uh, she is light, and you are from the light, Liliana. Well, t technically, we're assassins, and not <laughs> necessarily, yeah. but. Our heart's well, in the right I, place. Yeah, it, that's a next sort of straight down the lines of good and evil. That's just a kind of a worldview sort of thing. Uh, well, you know, our 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 God is sort of like the God of blood, and um, no, you know, it's it's best. Maybe it's best that we just stay on task. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the faceless God, you know. God of assassins. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, you said establish trade. Say we do is this. There, is there a god of medicine here? Mm -hmm. Because maybe I've thought that there is something which um, which I would like, and that is maybe to have more communication and exchange of information about medical science and healing between the upper world and the and, and the lower world here um yeah i mean i've seen that there are people who are living here who do not have the advantages of surface medicine but i would suspect that there are also things that you have which were able to heal um illness here mm -hmm. and i applaud your um i think i applaud i mean if it's genuine what you're trying to do but what happens after that am i able if have i have i made it so i will always be a persona non grata here would i always have um the casino folk after me because this does seem like um, a unique opportunity, really, to improve the lot of humanity, potentially, if it's handled right. And, and what, um, and what oh, happens with the souls? Yeah. We're hoping that once the souls have been released, then things will start, start to go back to normal. There won't How be as many of the extreme weather events and Yunaga won't be so powerful and the uh, the courts won't be so swayed by her. How long do you think you would need to do the uh, uh, to, 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 to get in there and get back out? How well, long we know to do that this distraction. Um, we, we know that Yunaga will be there for the high stakes game and 
um if you if you could just keep her occupied if we if you could just get an eye on her and uh and then while we're inside the vault that's when we're planning on being there is uh is okay. during the high stakes game okay so because she'll so be occupied 10 minutes 15 the, minutes 30 minutes an hour an hour maybe a little more possibly you know just padding for time a little bit as much as you can give us well my friends if one of you wants to wear this ring because we only have one ring wants to gamble then i'm happy to have your back whatever Me that too. means in this strange world what is but i'm not going to wear the ring mm -hmm. what 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 is the high stake game is it something that that we know of in the world up above um or something it's, it's, or, it's poker it's poker poker okay straight poker mm -hmm. Five and um, uh, what do they call it? Seven. So what's the one with the river? Like seven card. Uh, what's it called? Texas Hold'em. Texas, Texas Hold'em. Hold yeah, Texas okay. Hold'em. Right. Somebody is going to have to give me a brief rundown of what of, of what the rules are here. Two hmm. cards, and then you play with the dealer's hand. Three cards. Mm -hmm. And and she says, you know, Doctor Park, I, I think that that what you what you want to do is very admirable, and I just I I hate to admit it, but it's not that different down here that the wealthy have much better access to medicine than the poor. Mm. Better health care. Disappointing. Okay, this is what I say. If I take if I take this, I am not betting my last dollar. Uh, mm. I'm not going to put up anything as collateral. I will not sign anything or anything with, with my soul. She says, absolutely not. Do not sign mm -hmm. anything. For... And I'm not going to bet my last dollar, and I'm not going to, uh, um, uh, and I'm not going to, uh, uh, and I'm not going to put up anything as collateral. And don't sign any contracts. No, I'm not going to sign any contracts. And you know that simply by playing does not Hook you into this, right? So, uh, assuming this, if the ring fails, any, like, any, um, yeah, any contract that she makes you sign will be binding. Well, I understand that, but and what I'm saying is, like, simply sitting down at the ta table does not damn you. So, is that correct? No, no, but um, I mean, so so people walk away from that table that still have their, uh, still have their, uh, their souls being their own, not under. Yes. Not yes. We bad. just think that playing a game with human souls is is horrible. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, I say um, I say we do it. Okay. What this other, won't what ruin other... any chances of me coming down here later, will it? If even if we if you get caught. Well, I mean there's there's other the the casino they aren't the only the only game in town i mean we'll 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 have your you know we'll be your friends you can come and go and trade with us okay all right yeah. all right all right what other distractions do we want to have up our sleeves besides the card game uh probably i can take uh make a big fuss about uh taking pictures they probably okay. won't like that all right I have okay, magic. Ma okay, again, well, what sort of magic? That's a thing. Okay, they don't they don't like light. I think we got weird light, but that's not very bright. But we could be throwing fireballs. I've got or something. flash bulb. You flash can bulb, put a, okay. yeah. You can put a ton of points into you know like flash bulb and make a huge uh, flash bang, whatever you know explosion. Okay. What I about am, the water I... water end of it? I can do that too. I can, just I get can, things wet though. I can spill drinks on people, stumble, mm -hmm. play, play um, really drunk because I have these fireball here. Mm -hmm. You could you could take pictures of everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't like that. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. 
and then they will tell me to stop and I will have smell like this and that start on arguing. The... Right, that's good. Mm -hmm. On the yeah. other, on the other portion of it, uh, the um, um, okay. So you can make water. Can you dry up water? No, I don't think that's how it works. Okay, all right. Just, just checking because I don't have. You can, it. you can move it, right? Uh, I don't know how that spell works. Technically, any of us could make water. <laughs> I can just get I'm it out gonna, of thin air I'm between my gonna, hands. I, I'm not going to pee on any table or anything, no. I would hope not. <laughs> might create a good distraction, though. It, it might, oh, yeah, and, I, and I may get in deep trouble, so no. I'm not really a, a distracting person. I, I just don't have that in me so much but i will look around and if if you seem if trouble is coming then i will try to warn you and get you out of it if i can i i was just gonna suggest that it's always good with a lookout yeah hey everybody's gonna be wearing masks right right they won't know it's us and yeah, and like uh, uh, Lyrelia, the the little pixie, she's like she's like uh huh, uh -huh. And she's already got some kind of elaborate dress like half put together, and it looks it's it sort of has like pizza like supreme pizza colors, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna take a photo of that. She's like, yeah, um, Corinne, Corinne, please, please try, Look. try on the dress. It's a beautiful dress. Take a picture. Take a picture. Click, click. The pixie's enthusiasm softens my cynical heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 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 just how stupid does Corinne look? <laughs> yeah, and and Larry is like, behold, the princess of pizza. And and then <laughs> and then Karen has like got this elaborate kind of ball gown on, you know, and and I guess it's it's like there are kind of like little um uh just like every every color of a like a pizza, like the Italian flag, you know, like <laughs> green and red and white and it's actually a really pretty dress, mm -hmm. but you know, it looks like the uh, kind of a like the tacky. Italian flag. Yeah, a bit tacky. Yeah. Hmm. So not, Hayden, not as bad as I, I thought it was going to be, but then. Yeah, and like you kind of do do like a little twirl or in the yeah, dress. Because I, I will say it's like yes, it's like I would do this for anybody else, but that's the the, the fairy so damn cute. It's like yes, I'll do the whole you know. <laughs> Click, yeah, and click, and click, some click, like click. stardust kind of like trails mm -hmm. off of you, you know, mm -hmm. like the uh, the you have like these little red kind of sashes that like <laughs> light up like fire as you turn around, you know. Mm -hmm. So Hayden, I take it you don't think this is some kind of elaborate cosplay anymore, body modification. Yes, yes. I... and 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 Doctor Park, <laughs> you could be the. The 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 doctor of the um, the doctor of Eastern medicine. Fine. Yeah. I have reached a point where my <laughs> rational explanations are overwhelmed <laughs> by the capabilities of this AI. You know, we have hit the singularity. <laughs> It's there is I'm unable to distinguish between the <laughs> artifice and the reality. And uh, at some deep level, I will never be the same again. There are no sand rolls that I can make in this system, but I have just I'm just going with it. Okay. Yeah. 
just it just you just you know it's a bad bad pizza dream you just need some pepto bismol you're gonna sleep it off i don't know whether this is hope or despair or whatever but um i am i am just staying with staying with my humanity because it's there's, all i really have there's no sand rolls in rivers of london you just you're just insane just just uh, resign to madness. Yeah. Uh, I want something that is um, with a lot of pockets, mustard yellow, and uh, and is easy to move in because I don't want to stumble if I need to run. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, and um you know, oh Lyrelia gets to work. She's she's sewing up a storm. Are we planning after this is all over to stroll out and change back out of our costumes into our regular wear? Or what? Is there a locker here? And do we magically transform back into our original costumes? The do bags. You want, do you want me to? Do you want me to hang on to your to your clothes for you? It'll take me a little while to get your 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 um, costumes together. Yes, that would be very nice because yeah, we're apparently going to a ball. Yeah. <laughs> At least I seem to be on the side of the good guys in this dream. Who knows? <laughs> We're all having the same dream. I'm taking <laughs> pictures of everyone as they look incredulous around, uh, and I, <laughs> I, I, I just hang out in the in the shop while it's getting ready. Everything. Yeah. Could I have a dark blue suit with stars all over it? Stars and moons? Oh, oh, yes, like a wizard. Yes. I I like it. I like it. Yeah, and, and can I make you a hat to go with it? Oh, please. Please do. And while well, she's showing my suit up, I'll tell her about college, what college is like, and the uh, group that I go to to learn fighting and yeah. magic. And and she's like making, um, what do you call it? Like MC Hammer, you know, like um, mm -hmm. harem pants with like stars, like like blue with yellow stars mm -hmm. on it, you know, and a hat to go with it. Um, so um, I just want to check what time is it? We're not going to go up to New York and find that 20 years have passed, I hope, because I've got a shift tonight. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, Liliana's like, I don't know if you're going to make your shift tonight. I mean, can you can you call Well, it'll be the next day. It was like, I mean, I thought we were heading, we were heading down in the morning, was it? Like 36 hours of a weekend. And I said at the beginning, that I have a shift, you know, not the first night, but the second night. So I've got. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, no problem. We'll have you. We'll have you there. Yeah, CST time. Joking. Right. No, no, it's right. Uh... Right. Wait. Okay. Chicago. Good. Is that is Chicago? No, 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 no. no. Oh. Sorry, it it was a meta remark. I I apologize <laughs> about our timing organization, but I do want. Uh, okay, good, because I've got responsibilities. Then then we're great. And I will leap into the dream. Yeah. So, um, uh, Lyrelia is, she sews at a furious pace. Mm -hmm. She, um, yeah, like as she's, it's like watching magic. Just the way that she sews and everything comes together incredibly quickly, um, and she uh, she has your uh, your costumes ready within, let's say, a couple of hours, and trying to get all of your stories out of you the whole time. Yeah. 
I might want to make one addition would... to the costume. What, uh, what, uh, sorry, what, uh, okay, what did we decide things like, um, stun guns and, well, you know, the one that you just touched and the, and the taser, what, what did, uh, what did we decide? Would they have like fighting the firearms or dicks? Wait, one more time? What? Okay. Rather than say like a gun or, or an armed combat, if I had say like either, um, uh, taser, which is the one that fires the uh, thing, or or uh, what they call a stun gun, is kind of versed as yeah, where you just touch them. What skill is that used off of? Is that is it used off as of one of the skills, or if is it used off of uh, uh, firearms? Okay. If it's a if it's a distance, I would say, and fight if it's a touchy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, because we sure. don't do quite the same thing. Don't agree. Okay. Uh, uh, guys, can I'm gonna have to put, uh, uh, can we have it take a break right now? I gotta help my mother with her medicine real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so sure. we'll take, yeah.